Chris, we were staying in the corridor, speaking to Gav Skelton, your assistant. So much action in that final third, it makes it frustrating that we've got nothing to show for it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you want you want efforts rewarded, and the efforts were there tonight, but they weren't rewarded. Sometimes it happens like that. You know, we're playing a game that we possibly don't deserve to win from now till the end of the season, and we'll get three points. Um, we've not actually had that in the is it 17 games I've been here now. We've had to earn every point uh, and victory. Um, but there'll be a game from now till the end of the season that we don't deserve to get to three points and, and we'll get them. I know you look for responses within games as well as after games and within that game, having had the slap in the face, we were the team going for it. Oh yeah, 100%. Uh, obviously we, we made the changes to try and support that as well, but uh, the players didn't give up tonight. Really, really sort of proud of their efforts to, to say, no, we're not uh, going to lie down. Uh, we did get beat, but they definitely didn't lie down. I know that you don't like getting beat at all, but the, you've said it before, there is a way to do it. That's the way, that's what you want to see. The, the lads, as you keep saying, representing Carlisle United. Yeah, uh, and they did. Um, you know, they gave everything. And uh, with a little bit more uh, quality, or a little bit more, uh, I don't know, really, I don't like using the word luck, but sometimes it just isn't there. Um, they definitely had the efforts, the crosses, the shots, the free kicks, the corners, um, the contacts. But it just didn't. Even the ones that that they head out, it, Elliot has to move left to then deal with the ball. It doesn't come straight to him, so he can just volley it back. Or everything just seemed a yard left or right of everybody on on them little tiny incidents. And sometimes it's like that. But really pleased with with the bodies we had uh, and the areas we played in and how we constantly attack Cheltenham. The key thing here is what we weren't seeing earlier in the season is that we keep going even when them things don't fall our way. We keep going at it. Yeah, 100% my, my job, uh, the players. Uh, very disappointed if that doesn't happen. So I am not disappointed tonight because that didn't happen. But of course we're in the business of, of, of wanting points and we didn't get them. But uh, in terms of everything else, uh, they definitely tipped the box. Defensively, we were strong again against you know the conditions as well as the the, the, the play that came at us, but yeah. disappointed with the manner of the goal. Yeah, definite. And to be fair, I put the players under extra pressure second half, you know, by playing, even sticking Byron up front for the last sort of five, well, with the eight minutes added on, he probably, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes up front, which, which poses different... Uh, Areas for Cheltenham to expose, but they couldn't really. Bar them having uh, four or five uh, throw-ins in the last sort of, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes in that far corner in front of their fans, uh, they didn't really impose any threat. And I was really pleased with how we went about that second half. There was only one choice for man of the match tonight. It had to be Byron. He's had another standout performance. Yeah, he has. He's been brilliant. Uh, and he leads. Uh, he speaks well. He tries his best. He recovers well. He does professional things to make sure he's available for every game. Even when uh, he had a slight flare-up of a hamstring tendon, he went and made sure he had uh, his physio with Dolly. But because he knows his body, because he's older, he had extra treatment on it from obviously paying for that for himself from from what he's done in the past when he's played at high league football. Because he knows that that helps, and he did it uh, to make sure he's available again. So he's doing everything he possibly can to make sure he plays uh, for Carlisle and, and represents him and us like he does. You mentioned the defence a lot over the last few weeks. They'll be disappointed themselves with, with the manner of, of the, the way they conceded. Yeah, it's just a bit of a dead rubber that one, that goal, but uh, it happened. And of course, when we get that chance, the officials, you know, maybe they are the lads offside and they were arguing that they were. But uh, on, the, on the half chances and the ins that we had, we didn't seem to get that rub either, even when Nathan got through. Uh, you know, close out for a penalty, uh, a lot of close decisions on offsides, on sliding lads in. Uh, and of course, getting the ball flashed across goal a lot tonight. Uh, I want to see contact, I want to see goals, but uh, we didn't get it. You mentioned Callum on to the, the radio interview already, but it was a horrible one. Nobody likes to see anybody go off on a stretcher. No, and I don't think they will, to be fair to them, you know. Uh, I don't think they will, um, but I've seen that now, two home games. Two poor tackles, two players injured that represent Carlisle. And I did ask uh, the referees, a boss, uh, I rang him on Saturday night about the tackles on Harry. Uh, it's important that they look to protect players that, that, that want to play and run and, 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 
and do the right things in terms of uh, playing football and players that look to uh, not do that. Um, but that's the referee's job, not mine. Uh, the lads put themselves in that arena. Uh, fair play to them, they give it 100%. They put their bodies on the line. They put their lives on the line in, 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 a, in a way. Uh, you know, it's their body. Um, and for them to go all in like they did, sometimes they do need a bit of protection. I think Callum's just uh, come off on a rough tackle. Uh, he could have pulled out, he's at home, he's in front of his fans, he, he's, he's not going to do that because he's an honest lad. That's why we signed him. But I hope the news is good and not too bad. Just on an aside, is it the phone calls, when you make those phone calls, as you spoke about, do they make any difference? Do you feel like you've achieved anything? Well, yeah. One, uh, Harry knows I care and it's important that we try and protect them. Two, I think it's good that anybody in the game is trying to improve it for the good of the game. It's not to gain a, an advantage for us, it's to just say, let, let's try and play on a level playing field. And that's all you can ask of, really. You can understand our fans' frustrations with the officials at the end of the game. I, I have 100% sympathy with them for that one. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get myself in trouble, but it's just part of football, and sometimes you have to accept that. You know, I'm, I'm not naive enough not, to, not to, to look at it that way. But from our perspective, all of us, to see two good football players not you know not not available to carry on in that game and Harry not carrying on Saturday it is difficult to take when uh, can it be can it be protected a little bit more we've spoken about the lads keeping going we've seen again from yourself you're not scared to make these substitutions sometimes eyebrows may be raised but they're all done for the purpose of getting forward yeah uh no Nick's recovered from injury I just thought obviously he looked a little bit tired on one of the three balls passed it over to Aaron thought Nick should have dealt with it He's a great lad, Nick, real honest. And just thought Jack could give us a little bit of energy in that 15 minutes. I can't, is it 15, 20 minutes? God, I'd have to have a look at me. Uh, I mean, Oates, but uh, yeah, he got four or five crosses in, but we didn't score off him. Couple of days to go with some fantastic training facilities before we're up down at, down at Crawley. Yeah, maybe all preparation for that now. Yeah, well, we can put our snorkel away now, can't we, and uh, get our football boots out. But. Uh, yeah, what can I say? It's part and parcel of being here at Carlisle United. It's part of the journey. It's part of the things you have to deal with that other clubs don't have to. But uh, by no means is it an excuse for uh, underperforming and not representing us and the fans. So we 100% want to make sure we do that every time we turn up, and we did today. When you're getting the pictures on Sunday night and you come up here and see it yourself early, very early on Monday morning, what goes through your mind? Oh, my God. It's wow. And, and to be honest with you, I don't know if pull a plug out, but like, where's that bathwater goal so quick? Because it was like up to the crossbar. By the time we were training inside, I uh, had to split the lads up due to the numbers and uh, go inside the Neil Centre. Half oh, it had gone. I don't, I don't know. What, I don't, where's it go? It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Crawley on Saturday, they had another tough team to be like ourselves. They've been on a good run, so it'll be another eye catching game. Should be. Uh, got some good players. They really have. Uh, got a good. Uh, uh, they've got a good a flicker and a runner up front Palmer and Addison obviously you know about him and uh, yeah they, they've got uh, and, and coached differently now um, so they've got they've got themselves going um, obviously they've got the the uh, old stalwart that plays in midfield but he knows how to play his, his position uh, oldest he's the oldest football league player isn't he mm -hmm. so like, they, they, they've they've got good options but uh, you know we've got to dress ourselves uh, down recover and uh, make sure we go there prepared to, to give our best. I'm just going to finish on a, almost the same question that I asked earlier, boss, but you can tell by your demeanour, you hate losing, but there's a certain, I don't know, satisfaction in some of the things that you've seen. Yeah, I'll, I'll go home, uh, I'll drive home in my car tonight, and I've, I've, obviously you get a lot of thoughts flash through your head, uh, playing every sort of pass, header, tackle back, opportunity. Uh, you always reflect on yourself, what you can try and do better yourself to support the lads to do better. Uh, and then from that, you look at the players, are they actually applying themselves to that level that you, you ask of them? And uh, I think tonight they did. So I have no criticism whatsoever for our team.